back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Sue of Bend and Stretch with Sue. In today's video, I'll be taking you through a short Pilates practice that I recently did live on Zoom with my students. This one focuses mainly on the six pack muscles, the rectus abdominis. It's a short one, a quick one. I hope that you'll like it. Make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already and hit that like button as well as the notification bell so you'll know when I upload new content and you can check it out and check me out in the next video. Namaste. Let's begin seated everyone. So as we move into our Pilates practice we're employing the principles of the powerhouse, maintaining that engagement so that we are in a neutral spine at all times. So even if we're using the arms, the legs for movement, first we want to be concentrating on being engaged through that powerhouse. So sitting nice and tall, you can start with the feet on your mat and just coming into that neutral alignment here. So you have a leveling of your pelvis. So if you think of it as the contents within the pelvic bowl being held in place. So they're not spilling backwards, they're not spilling forward because you're over tilting the pelvis. They're just staying held nicely in place. You've got a little bit of an, about 30 to 50 percent engagement of those muscles at all times. Now when we stretch and we relax everything, relax everything. Let it all go. Uh, get some deep breath in there. But when we've got the pelvic, the um, powerhouse on, we're breathing into our chest, we're breathing into the sides of the body and into the back as well, but not into the belly. So let's begin by sitting nice and tall here, breathing in through your nose, reaching through the crown of the head and breathing out through the mouth. Breathing in through the nostrils, keeping the belly in so you're not taking the belly breaths and breathing out through the jaw, softened and relaxed. So keep breathing that way. Just going to do a final check here, make sure everything is good. All right. From here, as we remain in that neutral position, take a breath in, tuck your chin in, and you can hold on to the legs if you like as you roll yourself down partially. So you want to keep a nice engagement through your powerhouse and then coming back up again. So you can hold on to the legs as you roll down to the place that is comfortable enough for you to know you can get back up but also not so comfortable that you're not feeling anything. So you want to start to challenge yourself a little bit here. Now you want to maintain a nice open chest as well. So even though the arms are reaching forward, your heart center is open. You've got good spacing in the collarbones. So we're going to do one more just like that. Now this time as we hold it here, we're going to reach the arms up, bring the palms together, breathe in, and as you breathe out, bring the hands over to the right side, inhale to the middle, exhale, bring them over to the left, breathing in center, breathing out right. So you should be rolled back far enough here that you're starting to feel some burning in the upper abs for sure, lower abs as well. Let's do two more on each side. Now any time that you need to stop and take a break, you go right ahead and do that. Stretch what needs to get stretched, most importantly. You want to listen to your body. Bring it up and roll yourself up. Stretch the legs out here. Give them a little bit of a shake. Bring the hands behind you and open through your heart center even more as you press the chest open here. Breathing into this. And bring it back to your neutral alignment. Bring the legs back in. 
Now as we lean back this time, you can keep your feet on the floor for the easiest option, tippy toes, second, or bring the legs up into a tabletop position. Now from here, we bring one leg long and bring it back. Other leg and bring it back. Reach and in. Breathe in when it's easy. So when you are right here, you're breathing in. Over here, you're breathing out. So there's a combination here of extending the leg and maintaining your balance at the same time. Bring it in, hold it here, bring the feet down, uh, give yourself a squeeze, bring the hands just right behind you, press up, nice counterbalance to the body here and bring it back down again. Come on back to your neutral position. Again, feet, toes, legs up, you choose. From here, we bring, we lean back as we extend the right leg. Bring in the, hold on to that left knee, squeeze it in a little bit more, and switch, and switch. So lots of play here. Again, you're making sure uh, collarbones are nice and open. Let's do two more on each side. One more. Uh, bring it up. Bring the soles of your feet together. Bring the hands behind you to prop you up and open the chest a little bit more as you let those knees open outward. Great stretch for those hips. It's a great stretch for the front of the body as well. And bring it back. Come on back to your starting position. As we move on here, leaning back again, feet on the floor. Or come on back to that tabletop position from here. We bring one leg long, one, both legs long, actually one low, one high. Bring them back and switch. And back. Switch. Now if you needed some help, you could have your hands there just to give you a little extra support. Making it a little bit easier or making it harder. Using those abs only to support your body. Two more on each leg. And last one. Bring it up. Bring the hands behind you in a leg expand or legs straight as we give ourselves some counterbalance. Once again, lift it up. Press those hips up. Press your thighs up. And bring it all the way back down again. Sit up tall. Breathe in. Breathe out, roll it down. And bring your knees in, feet flat on the floor. From here, we're going to use the fingertips. I just want to make sure a little bit more centered here. Bring the fingertips right by the ears. Elbows open, nice and wide. <clears throat> From here, we lift the knees up and we bring one leg long, other leg long. Head can be lifted as you reach one leg long, other leg long. Move it from tabletop. Now if you wanted to make it easier, one leg stays on the floor as you alternate them. Side to side, we're keeping them lifted so that powerhouse does not get a break at all. Upper abs working here to keep your head lifted. That head is heavy. And bring it in. From here, we move to both legs, or you can keep alternating the legs as you reach with flexing the ankles. Bring them back. Flex, press through your heels. And reach. Three, four, five, six. Keep looking straight ahead. Not to the ceiling. Eight. Nine. Ten. Bring it in. Give your 
yourself a squeeze nose to knees. You can let the head come down. You can have hands on the kneecaps. Make a few rotations in one direction and a few rotations in the other direction. Bring it back to tabletop legs. Head on the floor or head lifted if you want that extra work for your upper abs. From here, we reach through the tippy toes. Again, one leg at a time or both. Reach through those toes. Keeping the chin tucked, scoop of the belly, so your pelvis is always neutral, your spine stays neutral. Five more from here. Three more. Two. Last one, and bring it down again. Little squeeze, little side to side massage this time. Right across the back. Let's bring it back to our tabletop. Nice leveling of your shins here. Once again, head on the floor or lift it. This is our last round like this. As we bring the feet together, flex the ankles here, open your knees apart. Bring them together as you reach through your tippy toes. Flex and open, reach and close. For three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Last one, bring it in, head comes down, knees come in. From here, we are nice and warm, we're ready to move into our hundred series. Hundreds, you can have your feet on the floor, tabletop, or you can reach them along and hold them there, or you can vary it. You can bring them in, you can bring them out. So you've got lots of options. You can lift them high, you can bring them low. You can keep the head on the floor, you can have your head lifted. So you do what works for you. As we prepare, we come up on the bottom tips of those shoulder blades, reaching the arms. We're going to change it up a little bit today. We inhale, palms down, we exhale, palms up. So inhale for one, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, ten. Inhale, two, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, ten. Two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, thirty. Inhale, two, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, forty. Inhale, two, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, fifty. Inhale, two, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, sixty. Inhale, two, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, seventy. Inhale, two, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, eighty. Inhale, two, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, ninety. Inhale, two, four, five, exhale, two, three, four. One hundred already. Bring it in. I think I may have missed the last 10 there. Ah, but it just seemed like it flew by. So bring your feet flat on the mat, knees over ankles, and hands by your hips. Walk your shoulder blades toward each other, lengthen the neck, press through the center back of your head. From here, we lift up into bridge. Squeeze those glutes. Try to create a straight line from your collarbones to your knees. Lifting up, a little squeeze at the top. You want to make sure those glutes are engaged. You want them firing. They're big muscles, we need them to work for us. Bring it down, and you're just grazing the floor, so you're not actually touching. And then you're lifting right back up again, and bringing it down. Lifting up, squeeze at the top, and squeeze as you come down. So moving smoothly, pressing through the center back of the head. So just warming up the glutes, not much more now. You already did that reverse table to kind of wake them up. Incline plane, waking them up even more. Let's do another two of these. Last one, hold it here, hold it. Squeeze those glutes, really press through the feet. Let's pulse it for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one, bring it down. Bring the knees in, give yourself a good stretch. Stretch one leg long, flex and pull. You can bring the other foot to the floor, you can stretch it long. And let's switch it up, other side. So 
the hamstrings and the glutes. You really feel it on those bridges, but we're not done with bridging. So bring the hands right by your hips. Open up the chest, press through the center back of the head. Lift up, this time we're coming up onto the balls of the feet and toes. So make sure that you feel solid and grounded here. So you get a little bit more height in doing this. You're lifting up and once again, you are lowering just partially and right back up, squeeze. Breathe in at the bottom, breathe out, lift it up. Keep it moving. Now make sure your knees are not flaring outward when you're doing this. You want them pointed in the same direction as your hip bones. So they're lined up and they are staying consistently in that alignment so that you are using your inner thighs as well as the outer thighs here and of course the glutes and the backs of the thighs, fronts of the thighs. So your legs are getting a real workout as well as your powerhouse and your glutes. Next time we lift, we're going to hold it, hold it, squeeze, make sure everything's fired up. And we are pulsing for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ah, bring it down. Ooh, bring those knees in. Flex both ankles. Lift up, pull those thighs into the body. This forward fold here. Give yourself some counterbalance and bring your feet back down again. We're getting ready for another round of bridging. We're not done yet. As we bring uh, the ankles underneath the heel, or the knees again. Hands are at your sides, chest is open, lift it up. This time, we're pressing through the heels, so you might have to walk your feet away a little bit, so you get really good anchoring through those heels. Toes are lifted. Hips are lifted, squeeze. So you're really gonna fire up the back chain here. As you lift and you lower again, you're always just raising the floor. So you're not coming all the way down. Just a hint of getting near to the floor and you're lifting right back up again, all the while maintaining that control of your legs so they don't flare out. So hopefully you're starting to really feel those glutes as well as legs working, legs on fire and glutes on fire. Last three, two, last one, hold it here. Keep those ankles flex, press through those heels. Let's pause for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and roll it down. Ah, oh, bring that down. Hug the legs in. Ah, oh, massage out the back. Should feel really good here as you get, give the glutes a little bit of a stretch. Again, you can do that little bit of massaging right around, doing so in both directions.